And then there were four, Tampa Bay and Houston for the ALCS, and then NLCS, LA and Atlanta. Today we're going to break down the pitching, the hitting, uh, predictions, keys to the game, and what we're going to do is NLCS with Atlanta and the Dodgers. It will be at Globe Life Field. This is a long ball bar park. And the first team we're going to discuss is Atlanta. So let's look how they actually got here. They played Cincinnati, which they shut them out. Cincinnati didn't score one run. Cincinnati doesn't have a great offense, so you kind of expect that. And then look at this. This was game one. This is a 13-inning marathon. I watched this game. This is crazy. Just no hitting. It ended up being a one nothing game for Atlanta. And then game two, same thing. You know, Anderson pitched a fabulous game. Six innings, nine Ks. And then Smith, Martin, and Melancon came in and shut it down. Then we move on to the next series against Miami, who's not a really a big hitting team either, just like Cincinnati, just a tick up. And look what they did. They shut them out two out of three times. Actually, Atlanta became the first team since 1905 to shut out four out of five games in the playoffs. First game easily went to Atlanta. Second game, look at Anderson. Great pitch game, great bullpen. You're seeing the same consistency. You're getting starters that go five or six with Atlanta and then hand it over to a solid bullpen. So you're dealing with Freed. You're dealing with Anderson, you're dealing with Wright, and then you're dealing with this really strong bullpen. So, you know, the way I look at it kind of is you look at who they face. I mean, not to take it away from Cincinnati, but they're not a good hitting team. It's kind of like the Oakland Athletics. You got good pitching, but you don't have hitting. So there's something to be said with that. You know, they faced two teams that really didn't have good hitting in Miami and Cincinnati. But the Atlanta Braves have been solid all year. They got good. You know, good young pitching, and Anderson's very young, so we'll see how he performs against a veteran team like L.A. And that's one thing Atlanta has not faced thus far is a really strong hitting club. So let's start off with the Dodgers and break down how they got here. Um, they went against Milwaukee, which actually is a decent hitting team, and they took care of them rather quickly. And Kershaw is doing something he hasn't done before in the 18 and 19 playoffs. He's pitching really good this year. Uh, Bueller pitched a little bit, and then in comes the bullpen. And then game two uh, against Milwaukee, it was just Kershaw. It's just been dominant. Three hitter through eight. That's just nuts. Now for the division series, they faced the Padres. Now, the way I look at it, it's advantage Dodgers in the situation compared to Atlanta. Atlanta didn't face a team like San Diego. So the Dodgers went up against a really strong team in San Diego and did very well. And the way they're using Bueller, May, and Kershaw, they're primarily going with Bueller, Kershaw, is there one and twos, and then they're throwing in May, and May actually threw, like in game three, only threw one innings pitch, so they're kind of not really using May as a front line one or two, they're kind of using Kershaw, like I said, with Burley, and then they're using May, so it's interesting how they're using them, because they're using them as a starter, and also as a relief, but again, LA faced a very strong team in San Diego, and they beat them, and now they're going up against uh, Atlanta, who's a very good hitting team also. So we'll see how it works, and we'll see how they utilize Dustin May throughout the series. Now let's move ahead to the hitting during the playoffs. This is Atlanta, what they've done with their batting runs on base percentage and OPS. Not really that good, but don't let that fool you because the number one and number two teams in the National League throughout the season for runs and RBIs is the Dodgers and the Braves. So the Braves aren't hitting up to what they used to. So this just tells you that their potential, they could be a lot more deadly at the plate. And, you know, again, they faced a really strong team in Cincinnati and for pitching, and they're going up against a strong pitching team with LA. So we'll see how they perform against the Dodgers pitching staff. Now let's move ahead to LA's batting numbers. Very impressive. Look at that batting average. Look at the on-base percentage. They've been hitting nonstop throughout the playoffs. And it's a list of the usual suspects for the Dodgers. You got Betts, you got Peterson, you got Bellinger, even though he didn't have a great season. You know, you just need him in the playoffs. Turner, you know, all the way up and down the lineup. So they're still a very deadly team, and they can just turn it on at any moment. So this is a Dodger team we've been used to seeing the last couple seasons. So let's go ahead and move on to the keys to the series for both teams. Keys to the series for the Atlanta Braves. they got to get to the Dodgers starters, they got to start chipping away at Kershaw on that curveball. Kershaw had a poor 18 and 19 playoff. He's having a fabulous 20 playoff. But if they can just get to Kershaw, start making the Dodgers bring out May more, the young pitcher, and start pressuring those starters, get to the bullpen, I think they have a chance. They also have to keep the ball in the ballpark. Dodgers have only hit two home runs this entire playoffs. If they start hitting home runs, it's going to be really hard for the Braves to move on. Now for the Los Angeles Dodgers, key to the series is clutch scoring. This and they just got done facing a very tough team with the Padres. They need to put up big clutch innings. They need to hit more home runs. Two home runs is not going to get you past the Braves. They need to stop the Braves' big innings. The Braves are kind of like the Houston Astros. They they feed off the moment. 
They can put up big innings, and the Dodgers have that capability to stop them with their pitching and bullpen. All right now, who's my prediction? This is very hard series, too. I think Atlanta and the Dodgers match up very, very well. Two offensive juggernauts, two great pitching staffs, and bullpens. They're pretty similar. I could see this possibly going six, maybe seven games, but I'm going to have to pick the Dodgers on this one. They've been fabulous all year long. They've played in a very competitive division, and they've had a solid club. So picking the Dodgers to go to the World Series, thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Please subscribe and have a great day.